Howdy, I'm Bob Terry, and let's talk a little bit about the wonderful Western television show, The Adventures of Kit Carson. The Adventures of Kit Carson aired from 1951 to 1955 and starred Bill Williams in the title role of Kit Carson and uh, Don Diamond as his sidekick, El Toro. And these were fictional exploits about a real-life person. Kit Carson was a, a scout and a mountain man and a quite an interesting colorful character. Uh, but these are all fictional exploits and it's a show really made for kids. It was a wonderful television show and there seems to be a little bit of litigation depending where you go on whether there's 103 or 104 episodes of The Adventures of Kit Carson. So far I think all I've found is 103 but if somebody out there has the 104th episode, please let me know. This fantastic half-hour, fast-paced action show uh, was sponsored by Coca-Cola. And you can actually find some wonderful uh, vintage Coca-Cola commercials with Bill Williams in them. This show was a western and a classic television show at the beginning of television. And it is made for the kids to watch. It's a wonderful television show. And it's all brought to you free here on the internet by Westerns on the Web, your home for free, classic, family-friendly Western television shows and movies. Enjoy it, and we'll see you after the show. Posters have been torn down. Well, I don't think one will be missed. We didn't meet anybody on the road this morning, so whoever it is, he must be around here someplace. I don't see nobody. I'm going to check on those posters we put up this morning. Yeah, you... But what's the use? You... shooting. See, si, and I was the target. There was a head on this hammer and it could have been mine. Probably the same man who tore down the Boltons. Get a look at him? Only his back. 
Maybe we can pick up his trail, but this road leads into town, so it could be anybody. Let's ride on in. What do you make of it, Kit? I'm not sure. Well, I don't like it. The first time you're a Martian in a long time, and I'm the one who's almost killed. Marshal, my name's Carlisle. This is my niece, Betty. I know you, Carlisle, miss. My deputy, El Toro. Senorita, you're the most beautiful thing I've seen since I came into this territory. Why, thank you. I want to announce my candidacy for mayor. Good. Then you have some papers to fill out, Carlisle. I understand you're here to see that we have a peaceful election, Marshal. We shouldn't have too much trouble, Carson. You see, we're off the beaten path here, ranchers and merchants. We just don't seem to have the trouble that other frontier towns have. Someone's already taken a shot at El Toro. A lot of the Boltons have been torn down. Looks like somebody doesn't want an election. Oh, that was probably just a cowpoke having a good time. See, hey, some joke. I think it's thrilling. I'm afraid my niece is a little too romantic. The idea of fighting outlaws seems to appeal to her. <laughs> if you'd have been at Marysville when Murrieta shot up the town, you wouldn't think there was anything romantic about it. See, it, if you're really interested in stories of the West, there was a time in California when I captured 20 of the most notorious outlaws in the motherload. Toro. 15? 10? 5? Well, I captured this outlaw single-handed, but he fight like 20 men. <laughs> Someone special? Very special. How many? One. He's plenty. Yeah? Who? Braganza. Braganza? Say, that's real hell. Get out of sight. Braganza. Matthews, you've changed. For the better. <laughs> Sit down. Just like the old days. Better than the old days. I've waited for years, I know. I know more about this country than anyone else has been able to find out. What do I do? They've never had any trouble here, and uh, you're going to start a little. Who is alone? Until the election, a man named Carson. Kit Carson? What's the matter? Scared? Go on, my friend. You were saying? There'll be money here. Lots of money. You're crazy. I know this country. It's nothing. But it will be when the railroad comes through. Have a look at this. This valley will be a crossroads. Ranches, towns, cities will spring up. What does that do for me? I'm going to control this country. Control it? There's going to be an election. I'm going to be the first mayor. Politics. Stakes are pretty big. The political control of this valley can mean eventual control of the state. So? Well, think what it means, Braganza. Governor. Good for you, maybe. No, oh, good for all of us. Listen. We can do anything, anything, and no one can stop us because we are the law. You're going to start real trouble here. Then what? Then I'm going to form a vigilante committee and wipe you out. I don't think I like that. You will. You are going to be the vigilantes. We chase ourselves. And when the time comes, I'm nominated for mayor. The raids stop, and the grateful citizens elect me mayor. But maybe they still vote for the other fellow. Won't be any other fellow. I'll follow the same policy when I'm governor. How do you mean? Well, it takes money to establish law and order. And money means taxes from the people. And the more lawlessness there is in a territory, the more... Taxes? I see you have figured it well, my friend.
be done about this, Marshal. Three ranches raided in three days. These raids don't make much sense. I don't get what you're driving at. Well, the leader seems to know his business, but the raids don't fit into any kind of a pattern. Why should they rob the ranches when there's more money at the bank and the post office? Have you got any clues? Well, witnesses say that the leader looked like a Mexican. He was riding a pinto horse. Do you think they could be the same ones tearing down the election announcements? I don't know, but I sent out El Toro to find out. Well, you know, there is wild talk of forming a vigilante committee. There'll be no vigilantes in federal territory. You know what that brings about. Well, I agree with you, Marshal. So does the Cattlemen's Association, but we just can't stop people from thinking desperate measures. We'll organize a posse, but we'll do it legally. Raider was held up. Swamper was killed. How many of them were there? We didn't see them. Yesterday it was Billings' cattle. Tomorrow it may be one of us. Are we just going to stand around and wonder who'll be next? Of course not. Let's do something about it. Now, you folks know me. I'm not trying to dictate to the pioneers of the town. But if this keeps up and we don't do something about it now, one day when we wake up, it'll be too late. There won't be many of us left to fight back. What'll we do about it? Organized vigilantes made up of honest citizens to drive these outlaws out. And I say, let's do it now. There'll be no vigilantes. Since you can't protect the citizens, there soon won't be anything else left to protect. That's right. Now, listen to me. Hang tree justice is not the way to settle this. We'll get those outlaws, but we'll do it legally. And half of us will be dead by then. Again, I say, let's organize a committee while there's still a chance of fighting back. How about it, men? We're with you. Yeah. Now, wait a minute, men. Let's listen to the marshal. We don't want to get our town started off on the wrong foot. We've listened long enough. Show us where the holdup was. Mount up, men. Let's go. Yeah, he makes quite a good speech. Looks like you're going to have some competition in the election, Carlisle. Well, it's a free country. Did you ever see the other man before? No, I don't think I have. I think I've seen a wanted poster on him. Looks like a gunman called Braganza who used to operate in the Idaho Territory. Anybody following? Nope. Keep a lookout. The rest of you up in the brush. Well, this beat's getting chased by a posse. But won't they be suspicious when we return empty-handed? Won't be our fault. Carson delayed us. We could have caught them if Carson had not tried to stop us. Now you're getting the idea. You know, it wouldn't surprise me if one of these days Carson gets run out of town. For interfering with justice. <laughs> <laughs> How would you like to be a tax collector? I think I'd like that. <laughs> Carson's sidekick. Good. This is working out better than I expected. Say, where's that pinto of yours? In a canyon up the road. Get a hold of him fast. Right. Caballo, come back. Where's your master, boy? Looks like I'll have to use you to find my horse.
Tie him up. Matthews, I tell you, you're making a mistake. He's one of Carson's men. Why don't you listen to what he's got to say? We've heard all we want to, Carlisle. Hurry it up. Put the rope around his neck. Hold it. There'll be no hanging today. Protecting your sidekick, Carson? Everyone knows the outlaw leader is a Mexican on a pinto. That's right. We all know it. That's right. Are you going to stand in the way of justice being done? Do you call hanging a man without a trial justice? In this case, yes. Most of us will be dead before the circuit court gets here. It's the only way we can warn this murderous gang of his. Maybe after we hang him, they'll think twice before they raid any of us again. He'll get a fair trial. If he's done anything, he'll think... They've given him all the trial he needs. Go ahead with the boys. Hold it! He's bluffing. Am I? Any of you think I'm bluffing, just make him move. He won't shoot. You're going to get the first bullet, Matthews. They may hang him, but you won't live to see it. Get behind me. Matthews, I'm holding you personally responsible if this crowd storms the jail. Remember, you're the one I'll come looking for. Not so good. I'll settle with Carson later. Right now, we've got to get Carlisle out of the way. That was much too close. But Toro, didn't you know whose horse it was? See, I did, but someone frightened off my horse. I have to ride him. It was a frame, all right, but a good one. You know that Matthews has just about got the time folks convinced that their only hope is his vigilantes to clean out these outlaws. How did the ranchers feel? Well, they belong to the Cattlemen's Association. I'm sure they'll stand behind me. Look, Carlisle, do you think you could get some of the ranchers together? What for? Well, I don't like the faces on some of those vigilantes. I've got an idea they're not even going to look for those outlaws. I don't get what you mean. Well, I hate to accuse anybody without proof. Look, Carlisle, you go ahead and get the ranchers together. I'll catch up with you later. Right. Okay, let's go. See, where? In here. Hey, but, see, we are compañeros. I know, and I want to keep it that way. Got to put you in here for your own protection. Just in case. Carson saw me. He's after me. What? You fool. Take my horse. He's fresh. Thanks, Matthews.
Why'd you shoot him? Stole my horse. Probably a friend of yours. A couple of you boys, give me a hand. I just don't know what to say, Betty. There's nothing you could have done, kid. It's, it's just that I, I feel so... We understand, senorita. I was the one who thought it would be thrilling to have outlaws. I hear Matthews is running for mayor. That's right. Even some of Uncle's friends like the way he got that murderer. No man would steal a horse while the owner was standing there. I think Matthews shot Joe to shut him up. See, that Matthews is a bad one. I think he's behind this whole thing. But he was in town when the raids occurred. Bergonzo wasn't. You think they're working together? I don't know for sure. Listen, Betty. Your uncle was killed when he was trying to organize the ranches for me. Do you think he could do it? Yes. But why? I need their help. What can I do? Tell them to back my play. Well, what can you do now? Toro, you're looking at a candidate for mayor. Get a doctor. Give me a hand. Johnson's been shot. I don't understand this. Didn't your raid is heard? Yes, but we didn't shoot anyone. Did you do any shooting? Only to frighten the herd. I'm sure no one was around. Then to shoot somebody, why didn't you make it good? Raganza? Johnson was able to talk before he passed out. Yes. He spotted one of the men that raided his herd. Who was it? You. He lies. A dying man never lies. Grab him, boys. Hold on, Carson. You haven't got any proof. Enough to hang him. Help me. We've got to give him a trial. Isn't this the kind of justice you want it? You're a U.S. Marshal, Carson. You've got to uphold the law. Not anymore. I resigned when I decided to run for mayor. Get the rope. Listen to me, folks. Carson hasn't got any more proof against this man than he had against El Toro, and he wouldn't let us hang him. Raganza was spotted by Johnson. El Toro was in jail. We found him on the pinto. I think you ought to hang both of them. What's the matter, Carson? Still protecting your outlaw sidekick? All right. Watch him, boys. Thanks, boys. I think it's going to work. Give me the keys, Carl. I'll, I get out and I'll get... Remember, no matter what happens, play it big. It's an act. All right, boys. Here he is. Amigo, stop them. I'm sorry, but this is the way it's got to be. I'm innocent. Kid, listen to me. This is terrible. You're killing an innocent man. I'm beginning to see things your way, Matthews. This might not be exactly as the law would want it, but it does save time. The rope. Kid, come well, This is what you wanted, Matthews. So let's get it over with. String him up. Carson, you're making a mistake. The other one is making the mistake. I had nothing to do with the Johnson raid. I swear it. Then who did? I don't know. He's lying. String him up. Wait. Maybe I can tell you about the others. Tell us who your boss is, and I'll see if you get a fair trial. The man I work for. You. Hey, get him to a doctor. Lock him up, boys. Thanks, Toro. It worked. It did? It did? See, it did. Hey, but what if they had found out that Senor Johnson was not shot and that it was all a trick? I'd have had to break in a new partner. Sure would have missed you, Toro. 
I wish you'd stay and really run for mayor, kid. You don't need me now, Betty. The Cattlemen's Association will pick a good candidate. I know. We're all tired of vigilante justice. Goodbye, Betty. Adios, senorita. It grieves me to leave. Perhaps I should stay and be the candidate. I know the people of this town will be proud to have you for mayor, Toro. Well, kid, if you don't want the job, you know that I Come can on, do Toro. it. Come on, Toro. enjoyed The Adventures of Kit Carson starring Bill Williams and Don Diamond. If you want to see The Adventures of Kit Carson and hundreds of other free Western television shows, stop by and see us at westernsontheweb.com. Hundreds of free, classic, family-friendly Western television shows and movies, including The Adventures of Kit Carson. Come on by and see us. I'm Bob Terry. We hope to see you again on down the trail. Have a great day.